biggest aspect of board games is obviously uh, the social aspect, the fact that you are playing against people. Uh, when you play against video games, it can either get repetitive or it can get uh, predictive, predictable because of the fact that you know it's uh, there's a kind of a computer program behind it. Um, as frustrating as it may be, sometimes it's that human element that actually makes the, each game experience very different. I mean, I don't think anyone can say that I don't I don't play board games, um, but they're not they're new to the designer board games or. I don't know how else to describe it. Uh, the board games that I play with my group of friends, and they love it. Like it, it's always nice. I I like how to when I introduce them gradually to to the easy party games and then the the more complicated strategy games. So yeah, and so every time they always ask if they can borrow my games because I started buying my own. <laughs> and I think it's 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 great that you could you could introduce more people that way. That you know. You teach some person, they liked it, and then they liked it, they pass it on to someone else. So, yeah. He's a spy. You call him a spy, and you prove it. I didn't know he was a spy. He just wants to prove it. If he's a spy, and you're right, he's going to fail it. He just crumbled. He just crumbled. I'm really confused now. Yeah. Two bucks. You get at least one dollar. Who else is going for it? Three bucks. No one. I'm offering him two bucks. I think board games started when, you know, you were a kid and people kind of expect you to grow out of it and if you don't, you're kind of stuck in that period of time and in a way, when people see you playing that, they think you're antisocial or you're not with the society and so they kind of put you into a box where, yeah, you play board games so you're not interested in finance, you're not interested in what's happening in the society you're basically a kid. So I guess that's how some people view it. But there are people who says that, well, board gaming is a good way to relieve stress from everyday life. So yeah, maybe it's hard to change how the society views this, but I personally think it's something that should be changed. It's not just a nerdy, geeky thing, right? Oh, I'm pretty sure what caused that was uh, Dungeons and Dragons. When that came out, all the geeks flocked to it. All the nerds and all the people who can't socialize properly flocked to it, unfortunately. And they use that as a means to socialize. But because it's a fringe thing, it gathered such a negative response. As to why I think this stereotype came about is probably, I don't know. I think it's just mainstream media. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of times they portray like, you know, those geeky, nerdy type of people playing board games by themselves or like out in like, I don't know, some isolated place playing, playing games. That's why I think, I don't know. I think board games are always going to be looked at as a geeky thing. Even, I, even before I knew about board games, I had the stigma in my head of, oh, this is going to be a bunch of fucking nerds, you know, like just sitting around a table, you know, geeking out, right? But when I got into the gaming, it kind of changed, you know, it's still kind of geeky and all that, but I don't really think of it as that anymore. I think of it more as, well, we're all just playing games and we're all just having a good time. And uh, a lot of people there were just extremely friendly and helpful and, you know, just, I let, it's the people that really struck me. And uh, it was nice to find some real genuine people who just really like and are, are really passionate about something and wanting to share that with new people. And I liked that very, very much. So. No, no, you get one man and one woman. So you would have to activate like, this oh, okay. one and this one. So that can only mean I, have, I failed it or he failed it. No, can, if, if we're both that, then he's bad as well. Somebody had mentioned to me some like an anti-technology revolution that people are basically wanting to meet face to face as opposed to you know like a video game if you're doing in like an online game uh, you could just be swearing at 13 year olds that you've never seen before so uh, you know the fact that you're face to face that the fact that you're gathering together. Uh, you know, brings that a, a very interesting social experience. I, I, I find that with electronic games, there's a high 
setup costs. Like, in, like for instance, if you want to play like, I don't know, like video games, you have to buy the system, and the cartridges themselves are fairly expensive, right? They can probably range between fifty and sixty dollars, right? Whereas we buy board games, they're there's varying price points, and I find it's a more economical form of entertainment. I used to be a video gamer. Um, I used to be a pretty big Warcraft gamer. So for me, it was just I wanted to do something different. And being a video gamer, it's a lonely life. So uh, there was a time in my life there for a little bit where I was a little bit lonely and I was really retracting from society quite a bit. And uh, I was starting to get worried and frustrated. So board gaming um, introduced me to a lot of people and I was able to make some good friends. And um, I found a gaming group and one day I went and they welcomed me with open arms and I haven't left since. <laughs> I like being able to touch things with my hands. And I like the aesthetic aspect of it as well. I mean, I know video games are, there's a lot of technical stuff with it, with, you know, the visual aspect of it. But to, 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 to touch something and to see the production of the board games, some of them are really, like, high quality. And I like that. I mean, most of my board games are pretty <laughs> visually stunning. So. I think I prefer board games because uh, it gets me out of the house. And uh, it's, uh, it's more social. And yeah. Also, if you finish one of the Harkins, all of a sudden, yeah, then I can actually sit him on you all of a sudden. I like to see people's reactions, so best part of the board games is just really watching how people respond to the changing strategies or what's happening. Kind of tells you a bit about who they are or how they treat other people too. So I think I like that part. It's, for me, it's not about winning. Right? For me, it's about playing with my friends, socializing, and then crushing them. Because, you know, anybody can have a winning face, but when you see their broken faces, of their shattered dreams as everything around them goes to dust. I think that's the most thrilling thing for me. I, I play it to enjoy the game and to just have fun. I mean, I, uh, some of the guys in my group are so like meticulous and they really take it to another level and that's why they win all the time. Like fucking Kai, like he always fucking wins. If you were to mention a game to me now, my first reaction would be to try to remember if it was fun to play. And then, uh, secondly, probably who I played with. And thirdly, if I won. Yeah. I mean, it drives me crazy inside that it, he always wins, but it's not to the point where I'm like frustrated and I have to like kill him the next time. I mean, even though I want to do that, I think if I give into that, it will it will take away my enjoyment from playing the games. So that's why I don't do that. I I could distinctly remember, you know, how elated I am and how excited I am that even if I, I lost uh, a certain section of it or that I won or, you know, something in the game turned and it, it changed everything, it, it's that, it's that hyped up excitement that I, that I feel. It's so unexpected, and it, I, I like that feeling whenever I play, so. Gaming is an interesting tool. It's a social crutch, I would say, to, for people to help meet other people. The only problem is, just like any tool, it depends on how you use it. People think that just by playing games, they'll go out and meet other gamers, but if you get so involved into the game, then there's no social aspect. These are just people you meet. You have to be able to turn that up a notch, and actually meet these people socially. Otherwise, you're just meeting these people to play games. So I think it's a good tool, but just like any tool, use it properly and things happen. You don't use it properly, a bunch of people get together, you play a game, and then you go home. You could have just stayed home and done that yourself.